family based dairy farm here in Victoria, Australia. We've got a pasture based grazing system here and we've run just under 300 Frisian Holstein cows. We've got about 200 hectares that support that operation. So there's myself, Evan and Sheridan as well that work on the farm and my wife Georgie um, comes and helps out if, if we need her to. Yeah, we moved onto this property in 2001 and we've had an old rotary dairy. It's just about run its race and in the last 12 months we've replaced it with a robotic gear system which pushed us into the cow scout line and has brought us into this new technology. So before we had our cow scout system, we used to have tail paint or we put beacons on. We'd go down the paddock probably three or four times a day and you'd watch cows as well. So that would take up a lot of time, really. The use of the cow scout within our system now, we've got it on our phones and back at the PC and, and in the home on the PC. So it's just made our farm get a lot closer to us and we can keep track of the health and the joining of the cows. So now every morning I go out to the dairy and the first thing I do is I sit down and I look at our cow scout program and it always has a list there of who's bullying and you, you know at what stage they are in their, in their heat because there's a line. So that saves a lot of time. It, it does definitely um, free up some time. We don't have to sit down in the paddock and watch cows for 20 minutes or half an hour and see who's, um, who's bullying these days. And uh, yeah, we can do, just do all that via the computer. Uh, it takes a couple of minutes. having the collars that are doing the work for you, it's taken, it's, it's not as labour intensive as it used to be. All you're doing is your cows are there for you, you're AIing them. That's, that's how it works for us. I think the submission rate for cows has been really, really good. Um, so I actually think we go pretty well with our calf rates when we, when we pre-test. Every morning uh, I'll go over there and check the computer um, and, and see if there's any cows in the health report. Um, if they are, we can check and see if they're, if they're not eating or if they're not moving or not ruminating as well. We are picking up illnesses earlier than what we were previously. Just having the data there 24 hours a day, we, we can pick it up early and treat the cow earlier, which means she's got a better chance of, um, of survival. With fresh cows, uh, with cows in transition, uh, we can keep a really close eye on them. Um, we can see if they're, uh, if, if they're eating, after they've calved and yeah, if everything's all, all going well. The springing cows that we have, um, we can keep an eye on them as well and see if they're close to calving, the system will tell us um, that they're, they're eating drops uh, and then that way we sort of know we have to keep an eye on them. And our cows are, are automatically drafted into, the, into our vet yard or AI yard um, when, when they need to be AI'd. If they're not healthy, we can draft them into the vet yard. Yeah, we, we do that based on the um, data that the collar gives us. Yeah, we don't have to leave the house, we can just do it all on the computer or on our phones. So my wife Georgie um, will eventually um, take over the farm, all going well, and this system um, is, is going to benefit us in the future, not only for, for work life but family life as well. I definitely miss the system if it wasn't there anymore. Yeah, no, I've, I've learned to just 100% rely on the system, so, oh, so I know it's worth